so let's start off with the basics. You need to put in your SIM card inside your iPhone. So for the 12 mini, for example, to put in our SIM card, it's gonna be here on the side. So you guys will see these volume buttons and then on the side, it's gonna be for your SIM card. So to put in your SIM card on an iPhone 12 mini, which would be the same for any other iPhone for that matter, you do get this little package inside your box that looks like this. And you inside your package, you see this. So let me just take this out. And this little thing, we're gonna press in here to take out the tray. If you lost this for any reason, you can always use an earring. Let me just get a close up for you guys. I'm gonna insert this right here and put some pressure to it. And it just pops out as you guys can see. So it does pop out as long as we put a little bit of pressure. Take out the tray, there we go. And there's our tray. So before I keep going, that's the tray. And here's the SIM card. So the SIM card is the smallest one, the Nano. So I'm gonna take out the Nano. Most of you would have a SIM card that looks like this. And that's the type of SIM card that you would need to insert inside your phone. So on our tray, we're just gonna place this like so. Let me just place it right on top. There we go. It's gonna look like this. And we're just gonna place that SIM card right inside our phone. There we go. And we're ready. So that's the basics for any setup. Put in your SIM card, first of all, just so everything syncs up and we're all good. So by the way, again, it's gonna be the same thing for any other iPhone. However, for this particular video, we're just gonna work on this iPhone 12 mini. So to power it on, you're gonna see this. So just hold it down and we're gonna see an Apple logo very soon. There we go. As soon as that starts up, just let it do its thing. It's gonna power on. There's no need to charge it just yet. It's good to lower the battery to about hmm, maybe 10% or so and then fully charge it again. You wanna do that at least three times. And yes, new batteries, they say that you don't need to do that, but yet new research has shown that you do. Anyways. Right now, all we have to do is slide up, select our language. So we're gonna go ahead with English. It can be any other language if you like, and your region. Again, it can be any region here. It does not have to be the first one that it shows you. Although most likely your region will be the first one here. Anyways, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna take a look at where our region is at. So for example, if you're in the US, you will pick United States, and from here, you can check out Setup Manually, or you can do a Quick Start. Now, Quick Start is good if you guys have an old iPhone or even an iPad. There's things that can sync up. It's not that much faster, so it's not a huge deal if you go to Setup Manually, but it's pretty neat that it can do that. It's not perfect though, it's, and it's not that much faster. For this case, we're gonna go ahead and set up manually. If you guys do want to see how quick start works, just check out my video where I show you how quick start works. But for this video, we're going to keep it simple. Assume that you guys are brand new into Apple and go right into set up manually. So from here, it's going to ask you to set up with a Wi-Fi network. Now you do want to choose whatever is from your home. So make sure it's secure. In this case, it's going to be YouTube YT. We're just gonna put in our password. Once you put in your password, just tap on join on the bottom right hand corner. It's gonna take a few minutes. So yes, um, if it tells you that your Wi-Fi password's wrong, most likely it is wrong. So just keep trying other ones. I've gotten that question before. And for those of you who think you can't set up your phone without a SIM card, actually you can. Anyways, our next screen will say data and privacy. Just continue on. And from here, same thing, you wanna continue on and set up Face ID. Now, if you don't want Face ID, you wanna set this up later, we can choose that down here below. However, for this video, assuming you guys are brand new, we're gonna do Face ID. And it's basically just about moving your head um, a little bit side to side, left to right. Anyways, let's just get started. Click on continue. So right here, it shows you kind of what we have to do. So we do have to move our head all the way around. So as long as you guys move and just follow this around, it's gonna scan your face, okay? It's trying to scan your face 3D and that's why you guys have to move it around like so 
in order to set up your face ID. So right now we're just going to click on get started. So there we go. Once it's complete, we can just go on continue. From there, it's going to take us to this page. Once we click on continue and we can go on and just continue again, create a passcode. It's very important for you guys to remember. Do not forget this. There are passcode options. I'm going to show you right now because we can make this more custom to what you like. So there are several options. We can even do four digit. It's all up to you what you guys like. In this case, we're going to keep it as is and we're just going to go and make something better than what I'm doing right now. So you guys shouldn't use this because that's the worst passcode you can use. So use something custom, use something good. This part's very important. If you had an iPhone before, you want to restore that from your iCloud backup. Again, I'm going to be showing a video on how to do that with any iPhone, okay? So if you guys had an iPhone before, that would be the video for you. So make sure to check that out, how to transfer your information from one phone to another. And it's basically just making a backup on your iCloud on your old phone. And then all you guys have to do is just follow this. Of course, we can do that from your Mac or PC. However, let's say you guys are brand new into Mac and we never had one. We don't have to transfer anything. We can start up brand new. Just put in your Apple ID. If you don't have one, just go ahead and click on the second option. From here, we're gonna go ahead and create a free Apple ID. Of course, we can set all this up later on in our settings. So we can skip out the option for Apple ID, which is something you want to do if you're selling your phone, but not when you're setting up new for you. If you have one, we can always go back and put it in right here our email and then it's going to ask us our password. By the way, I do have a separate video showing you step by step of how to create an Apple ID. So make sure to check that out. That's already being uploaded on my YouTube channel. For now, we're just going to select this option just to make this tutorial a little bit faster. And we're going to set this up later. So at this point, we're not going to use an Apple ID. I highly suggest you guys do. We're just going to agree to this. We're going to continue on, continue on. And yep, that's for sure. Siri, we do want to make that work. I'm just gonna make sure that all my other devices will not hear me say Siri again and again, because they will respond instead of this phone. So for your setup, if you guys have an iPad or another iPhone, just uh, take them out of the room for now. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put on continue. Hey Siri, hey Siri, sent a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And right now Siri is all done. So that's how you guys can set up Hey Siri on any iPhone for that matter. We're just gonna continue on. Now this will show us a quick tutorial of how to use our phone. So right here, the power button will be to use Siri. Continue on. We can share audio recordings or not. So if you really care about your privacy, not now. For me, I'm gonna go ahead, I want to improve things. Screen time. This is something that I would suggest um, parents setting up for their kids, their iPhones. Because here's where you guys can put in restrictions for them. Uh, you guys can put restrictions on whether, what type of apps they download, if they need your permission to download apps, purchase things and all that stuff. But for us, screen time, I don't see it that necessary unless you really want to know how much time you spend on your phone, then go ahead and set it up. We can always set it up later in settings. I suggest setting up later in settings because most of you will not even bother to use that. Anyways, right now we do want to share usually with app developer, so this gets better. And this just lets you know a little bit about the screen, which um, you can test it out. So that's what it does. It gives you that difference between between that bluish tone to that yellowish tone. We're just gonna continue on. Right now, there's two appearances we can go for. There's the dark mode and there's the light mode. Light mode is great if you spend a lot of time outside. If you're indoors a lot, dark mode is my personal preference. However, for this tutorial and for videos, it's actually better to have it in light mode. So I'm gonna leave it as is, continue on. 
Same deal with this, this play zoom. You guys want your apps to be bigger or a little bit smaller, messages a little bit bigger or smaller. So it depends. And we can always adjust all these settings that we're doing right now later on. So if we change our minds, we can go back to settings and change this very, very easily. Check out on my YouTube channel if you guys have any questions about this. There's a video already made for that. Anyways, we're just gonna continue on. We're gonna leave it at standard. Welcome to iPhone, just swipe up and you're ready to go. So right now we are done with our main setup. So the default apps that you would get with any phone for that matter, this is the 12 mini. However, it can be any iPhone. You will see these guys right here and that's it. Everything else you would need to download. What I just did right now, it's just showing me the apps that I just showed you. So see all those, those are just the ones that I just showed you, but these are the basic apps. Anything else you would need to download straight from the app store. And most of the ones that you guys would want are free anyways. So most social media is free. So don't worry about it. It'll take a couple seconds to download that stuff. And that's why you need an Apple ID as well, just to download apps from your app store. So at this point in time, we are done with this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.